Hi, I'm Sam, and in this video, we're going to go over the basic controls and functionality of the new LZX Industries Shape Changer. What I have here is the standard Shape Changer signal flow. I have the horizontal and vertical ramps from the visual cortex piped into the navigator, and then that's fed into the horizontal and vertical inputs on the Shape Changer. And what you see on this cool liquid TV is one of four outputs from the Shape Changer. This is the keyed output shape output, then the horizontal and vertical output. You don't need to have the navigator before the shape changer and the signal flow, but it's an extremely powerful combination and I'll show you why pretty soon. I'm going to quickly go over the controls on the shape changer. There's a width and height and the size and ratio. Depending on where the switch is, one of these knobs will control either the width or the height of the shape and then the size and ratio. So those are pretty extreme controls. Below that is the symmetry. So you can control the horizontal or vertical symmetry of the shape. Just cool to get some rectangles really easily. And then my personal favorite, the curve, because you can get pretty near perfect circles. Uh, previous to the shape changer, it was really module intense, intensive to get a near perfect circle like that. You can invert that and get these star shapes. And then each one of those two controls has individual X and Y switch. Those are both zeroed out right now, but you can control the X or Y and tweak the shape out even further. Um, below that, there is the X mirror and the Y mirror, which gives you an even further control of the shape. And of course, all of these are CV controllable, so you kind of have unlimited potential there. I'll pipe a sine wave into the shape, into the curve. You get a pulsing square. Pretty cool. I previously mentioned how powerful the navigator shape changer combination is and to me they're an indispensable duo and I'll show you why it's because you get 360 degree control of the shape as well as horizontal and vertical positioning and control of the shape and I mean this is just so exciting because you can create these wild compositions so easily moving the shape around controlling the shape and then of course you can automatically spin the shape and position it using the navigator and let's make this smaller you can then offset the anchor of the shape you can mirror it you get all kinds of mirrors multiple shapes and then of course this is CV controllable get really extreme animations. Look how wild that is. I'm excited to share with you this bouncing box patch that I've created. And it's a deceptively simple patch, but there's a lot going on secondary to the main animation that I won't go over in this video, but I'll include the patch diagram in a description uh, in the video description. There's three main elements to this patch an envelope, the navigator, and the shape changer. And it's interesting to note that the bounce animation can be altered by slowing the audio envelope down a bit to create a laggier animation. And you can speed the audio envelope up to create a snappier animation. That's just a standard uh, attack decay envelope being triggered by the snare off screen. And that envelope is being brought into the bridge, which is malted out into the X, Y, and the rotation of the navigator. The navigator is first and foremost in auto spin mode with the rotation knob just about zeroed out. So whenever it receives that envelope, it causes the navigator to advance, which you see in the top of the animation. Also, the envelope is controlling the uh, vertical balance of the shape. And then the X, which I have zeroed out, but if I bring it in just a bit, you can see that it shoots the shape diagonally across the screen, which adds some interesting dynamics. This wouldn't be possible previous to the shape changer. 
And so it's really interesting to see this, this kind of dynamic movement in a LZX patch. Another location for the envelope is the symmetry. And whenever the animation is high, you can see that the shape, the square is being turned into a rectangle. This is a, uh, this can be tweaked to create all kinds of variations of that symmetry. The shape changers outputs are going to multiple locations, but we'll go over one really quickly. And it's that red box that you see, that's the main keyed out being processed by the curtain. And if I tweak the curtain just a bit, you can see that it's kind of altering the, uh, the red 3D aspect of that shape. There's so many cool things that you can do with the shape changer from here. The, you know, the shape can be altered pretty much indefinitely, can be tweaked, mirrored, like I went over earlier in the video, and there's really no end to the possibilities with the shape changer. I mean, that's pretty crazy right there. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.